Hi guys, welcome back to another Fallout 76 base build. Now if you haven't already, please ensure you join the Discord, the link is below. We have a ton of Fallout 76 players in there, all helping each other out, teaming up and showing each other exactly where items are being found. Now you'll probably notice today's base is a lot bigger than the other ones that I've carried out. I would say a bit of a challenge to use the max budget possible to see what type of base I can come up with in regards to the size. Now. This is complete max budget. I can't get anything else in. This is it. So this just shows how big you can actually go. Now, the key thing is making sure all your stored items in your camp are gone. In here, I've got a secret hidden crop room. Use the garage door. I haven't got the switch yet still. Using a generator and unhooking it when I'm not in use. Now, the back here is quite empty. It's just to demonstrate how big you can actually build. All the spaces here, you can fill this up wherever you like. Just remember when PvP factions come in, bigger bases like this probably will be required. So it's maybe good now to start thinking of how you're going to combat that. Now, you see here, generators in that section, we've got a nice little bed there. As you come up top, I decided to put everything on the roof, so it's very minimal in the corridors itself. Now as you come upstairs, you'll see that all my benches are out here. Nice little sitting area. Very, very spacious up top. Now, I know people can aim down, shoot at you, etc. It's just how I wanted to place it out for this build, just to show exactly where everything is. Now, we have the gantry, as we always do, with the see-through floors. I seriously think they're probably needed for all bases to help defend. Got the turrets in place at the front. I would recommend probably spreading these out. I could only afford five, because I was doing max build. Now, at the rear from where I always build, it's a cliff, so I don't have to worry too much. So I was able to get away with only having the five turrets at the front. So guys, the challenge was, as I said, to build max size. So I'll do this in sections. I'll show you how it's done. This is more just to show just how big you can actually build. But I'll show you the full build anyway, just in case you want to keep it in mind and blueprint it for when the factions come in. So guys, what I've done again, I've got the light wooden floor, that is the corridors, the dark normal wooden floor, that's the external area, and the blue and yellow floor, that is going to be your staircase centrally. So I've done it in this way, so you know exactly in your head where you're going to have everything. I'll do that throughout as best I can. Now, I'm just going to move this camp to the side. Put your staircase in, place it down, get that done first, that's your central piece done. Now this door, again, I don't have the switch as I said, so I'm having to put the generator above, or you can put it down in the crop area if you like. Now I'm just going to close this central piece up, and that is it, pretty much done for the central piece. A lot of this is just putting walls in, you can put window walls, you can put solid walls, wooden walls, completely up to you, depending on what you have. Now, put your door frames either way you want, I'd put them either here or to this side, Depending on how many doors you want to put in, because remember to lock them, you're going to have to put gears in as well, so bear that in mind. Now, as you can see, that is the central piece done, so all we're left with is the light wood, which is all going to be corridor all the way up. So, these floor tiles for me are really good because I can show you exactly what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. Now, I'm just going to wall all this up, top and bottom, put it all in and say, this was open corridor for me, you may only want to go up two levels. And just have this full of your workbenches, etc. It's up to you. This is only a rough guide of what you potentially could have. Now, you might want to have one staircase, have loads of rooms in that section. It's just what you feel at the time and what you've actually got. Now, I have farmed a lot of scrap metal, hence why I've got a lot of scrap metal walls. I tend to scrap everything that I get, and I recommend you do the same. Now, a lot of people ask where I get these metal walls from. I just carried out workbench tasks and they just randomly came to me. Now, I have asked other people where they got theirs and they've all got them in random tasks. I think it's a low level random task. Now, the brick walls, I've shown how to get that in my previous video. If you missed yesterday's video, it was a guide on where to get walls and different building tips. The link for that is in the description below or just look at the featured videos at the end. Now, Working our way back all the way around, just closing this area up completely. The water pump, as you can see, is out there. I left that in place. You can put that inside where the harvester, sorry, the crop area is if you like. Just keeps it tucked away. Now, this can be a bit glitchy. You have to try and get a floor piece off the staircase quite quick. It can be annoying. 
Just play around with it and you will get it. I found doing it this side was easiest. Once that's in place, you can put your floors all the way around. Now, I'm just going to quickly put all these down, just as it is exactly below, using the same colour of floor, just so it's nice and easy. Now, I prefer using the mesh floors where I can, because you can see down, so if something does happen, or if something's in the base, if you are teaming with people, and you want to know where people are, it's just very quick and easy to see where people are. Um, I, I actually... I would recommend you use it as much as possible, but they aren't as strong, I don't feel. So, it's up to you really how you prefer to use it. Now, I'm going to put the turret ends in here as well. Again, using the half see-through floors. Again, this is so you can see right down from the roof, so if someone is at the door. Now, a lot of people have said you don't have to worry about other players. I spent about two hours last night fighting with another guy back and forward, back and forward. And I also watched a couple of groups fighting each other and firing missiles at each other's base. So it is starting to take place a bit now, and I think as we move on it will happen more. But the AI especially are a nightmare sometimes. Now where I am, I always get ghouls and super mutants coming down, because there's a camp just above where I am. These turrets just melt them every time. So it's beneficial to make sure you have turrets, but put them in the places where they actually come down, as in the AI. Don't have them in an area where it's not going to see them, they're just going to run to the door and start hitting the walls because it will break the walls down. I had a mole rat smash through a wooden wall in the first couple of days that I was playing Fallout 76. So bear that in mind because it does take place. Now this is this gap you can see is simply because my generator has to go there and I need to get the cable through. Now as I said I do not have the switch yet. I'm working on that at the moment. Hopefully I'll have that soon. But for the time being I'm just unhooking the generator as and when I'm not using it. So again, as we did at the very start, essentially we'll lock all this off, mark it down. This could be a central area for getting up and down straight through the base. I like to keep it central because it's the, the strongest part of the entire base. Now, bear in mind when the PvP factions come into play, it might be a case of your base becomes more important for storing loot. Now they said the stash boxes are going to raise, but I don't feel they're going to raise as much as people think. But hopefully they're going to unchain other containers so you can actually put non-important stuff in those containers as well but that remains to be seen i think it'd be a smart move on their behalf if they did do that now again put all the floors in i'll just stick to the same floor all the way through now because it's the top floor this is going to be the end piece bear in mind you have to come off the stairs if you're going to put floors in and the upper floors a lot of people forget this and they start using roofs and they can't take it up any further Make sure you use floor pieces because then you can put ladders on. Again, just keep putting this floor in place. If you want to put the mesh floor in, as I said, go for it. For me, I'm just using this because it's visually a lot easier to show exactly where everything's going. Once that's done, you're going to close up your staircases. Now, you don't have to close them up because people can't get up here anyway. I just think it looks better if they're all closed up. However, you might not bother with doing this. Um, your budget might be exceeding because you might have stuff in your stored inventory for your camp. If that's the case, make sure you scrap those items because they count towards your budget. So that can stop you from being able to build a lot bigger. Now, I've, I have heard stories about people only being able to build like a two by one and that is it. Then when I speak to them and ask them to check their camp, they've, they've got tons of stuff stored in there and like, oh, I didn't realise that was a thing. So make sure you check your stored items, that's key. Now, again, we're going to put the grills in. These are just going to be for the turrets. I just honestly prefer them because you can see right down. So if someone is there, you can see them. Put your turrets in place. As I said, I have only got five turrets because I'm at max build. This is all I've got. If you want to strip it back a bit and have more turrets, you're more than welcome. But I am on the edge of a cliff, so for me, it doesn't really matter. Now I'm going to put these little peak spots at the side. Again, this is just to cover because people can actually shoot up at me from the sides so I'm going to use that to cover now at the back I'm going to put nothing at all there's no point I don't need it because I said I'm on a cliff so so I'm going to put the tower roofs in I think they're really good to just make the base look really strong and robust however you might like the flats again you don't have to put roofs on that if you don't want you might want to put ladder stairs going up there so you can actually peek from above maybe have more mesh floors just play around with it get something that suits you just remember every base build you see it's only a concept. It's up to you to make it your own. 
Now I think a lot of people will try and show you how to put pictures on walls and everything else. For me, it's just to give you a basic idea and let you run away with the concept. And this is concept is to prove that you can build really big. You don't have to build a silly little base and think that's all you can do and play safe because as Fallout 76 progresses, I honestly feel that bases will become more important and people will try and destroy your base a lot more. I may be wrong, however, I'm pretty sure that's the route they're going to want to take, but they're going to do it in baby steps. Now outside, I'm just going to put the little edge piece in so I can defend if I am coming out and I'm losing the battle and I do have to come out the front. I'm going to put the little standard blockade here. I think these are really good. You can just peek behind them, protect you. If you have got traps, put them at the sides. They're worthwhile using because it could save you in the last moment. Then stick your doors on. Put your doors through, just do your front door first and any main doors if you put any more doors around the side because remember you have to lock them first. Now we'll put the walls in here, we didn't do it when we were doing it before. I wouldn't probably put a door in this section, I'll just leave it open. It saves you opening doors and closing them all the way through. Try and be sensible about your door placement because you want to be opening and closing doors constantly. So we'll lock that area up, head up to the roof and we'll start putting the benches down. Now this is just an example to show that these benches are within this budget. That's why they're all in the one place so you don't think that I've only put one or two benches in and you're missing items. All the key items are still in this with the budget that's in place. That's the key thing for why I'm putting it all in the one place so you can see exactly where it goes. You can move it around, put it wherever you want, stick it, make one single room, make four different rooms for one for each bench, whatever suits your playstyle and how you want to do it. So guys, that is it. Now, as I said, this is just to prove how big you can actually build in Fallout 76. This is my max budget. As I said, I have scrapped everything that I've got, made sure that nothing is in my stored camp. That's why I'm able to build this big. Next, I'm going to have a smaller base. It's more of a farm defend base. Probably won't go this big again for a little while because it was tough. It took a while to go back and forward. So guys, if you enjoyed it, please hit a like and I'll catch you in the next one.